Saving Arizona PAC is responsible for the content of this message. Migrants are a political problem for Democrats. But in fact, we've got some data. Hey, 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 hey. Prices originally skyrocket earlier this year. So Vladimir Putin threatened to use nuclear weapons. They're labeled as racist. On both sides of the abortion debate, women outside the Arizona State Capitol is running high decision to overturn the decision. Our culture is going to be horribly scarred by this. Our nation is in turmoil. How can we get back on the right track? The U.S. Senate race here in Arizona could hold the key. Hi, I'm Christine ong Cothran, your host for today's program. As you may know, this race has garnered national attention. That's because the U.S. Senate is currently composed of 50 Democrats and 50 Republicans. That's fairly unique in our nation's history, and it underlines the importance of the Senate race here in Arizona. Your vote in this election will have national implications, lasting implications. So today we're providing you with very important information to help you make an informed decision. Why does it matter so much? Well, President Biden has just over two years left on his term in office. If Democrats gain seats and have the majority, they will most likely be a rubber stamp for Joe Biden's failed policies. On the other hand, if Republicans take the majority, they can provide a crucial check on Biden's liberal agenda. So let's take some time to examine our current U.S. Senator, Mark Kelly, who votes with Joe Biden 94% of the time. Mark Kelly seemed like someone we could trust when he said too many politicians in Washington have no idea what it's like to wait for that next paycheck. Arizonans, well, we believed him, thought he'd be a voice of reason in Washington. Turns out we were played. Mark Kelly walked onto the Senate floor and betrayed all of us. He's as extreme as Nancy Pelosi and has supported President Biden's disastrous policies that put our economy in a downward spiral, wreaking havoc on hardworking Arizona family budgets. Mark Kelly says he understands us. If you didn't grow up in a house where money was tight and the bills piled up, it's hard to understand what Arizona families are going through right now. And that's when you come to this realization that your family is living paycheck to paycheck. And he promised us that he was different. And that's why I will give up on getting our economy back on track and lowering everyday costs. Because too many politicians in Washington have no idea what it's like to wait for that next paycheck. But Mark Kelly has gone Washington. He has supported the Biden-Pelosi policies that increased gas prices, the cost of food, and made it harder to pay your bills. Mark Kelly promised us he was different, but he's not. Saving Arizona PAC is responsible for the content of this message. So who's the real Mark Kelly? He's not the relatable guy from his campaign ads, that's for sure. The real Mark Kelly doesn't seem to care about the diverse and deeply personal beliefs his constituents have about abortion. Quite simply, Kelly's extreme. He supports late-term abortions. That means terminating a pregnancy at seven, eight, or even nine months. He even voted against requiring healthcare practitioners to care for babies who survive an abortion. He would also get rid of parental consent or notification prior to a minor getting an abortion. Think about that. Voting to get rid of parental consent or notification for their minor child? Even worse, the radical abortion bill Kelly voted for would likely wipe out Arizona's current parental consent law. What's worse? Kelly didn't bother to find out how the bill would impact our state. When a reporter asked him if the bill would invalidate Arizona law, Kelly said he didn't even know. 
and told the reporter, I think that's something that you could, you know, reach out to the congressional research folks and figure out. Kelly put the drastic views of his party ahead of the common sense policies Arizonans support. In Mark Kelly's world, politicians in Washington can make better choices for children than their own parents. It's more than a political debate. An unplanned pregnancy can be frightening, devastating for any woman. But for a young girl, it's terrifying. What should she do? Mark Kelly thinks a child can make that difficult decision on her own without her parents. Kelly sponsored an extreme abortion bill that would eliminate Arizona's parental consent law and other protections nationwide. Mark Kelly thinks Washington knows better than parents, even on the most personal issues. Saving Arizona PAC is responsible for the content of this message. Here's another real Mark Kelly moment. Last spring, Kelly urged President Biden to expand gas and oil production in the Gulf of Mexico. Russia's dangerous aggression in Ukraine would mean higher energy prices worldwide, and Americans were already facing record level gasoline prices every day when they commute to work, drive their children to school, and buy groceries and medicine. Kelly told the president, increasing domestic oil production to meet demand is a critical step to lowering gas prices and reducing our reliance on foreign sources. In a press release, his office even bragged about the letter. A few months later, a Republican introduced an amendment that would accomplish exactly what Kelly urged the president to do. And guess what? Mark Kelly voted against it. Suddenly, reducing gas prices for all those hardworking Americans who are just trying to get by wasn't as important to him. That's the Washington, Mark Kelly. Say one thing for show at home, do another for your Beltway buddies. Then there's his broken promises about our economy. I won't give up on getting our economy back on track and lowering everyday costs. Instead, at almost every turn, Kelly has supported President Biden's failed agenda, digging the hole even deeper. Kelly voted for the Biden $2 trillion spending package. The result, skyrocketing inflation. Prices for the things Americans need to go about their lives and daily routines rose at a stunning pace, the fastest in four decades. American paychecks? Those haven't gone up. While Kelly and Biden's economy left hardworking Americans behind, Kelly voted to make sure that prison inmates received stimulus checks. Yes, you heard that right. As Arizona families watched their savings accounts dwindle and their anxiety about the future grow, Mark Kelly voted to give convicted felons currently in prison stimulus checks. And the outrageous votes continue while parents are trying to understand what their children are being taught at school. Mark Kelly voted in favor of funneling federal dollars to schools that preach critical race theory, a controversial and faulty philosophy that divides communities. Meanwhile, he supports President Biden's unconstitutional ploy to forgive student loans regardless of income or employment. Just last week, the Congressional Budget Office announced that the cost of this loan forgiveness will be more than $400 billion. And who will fit the bill for that huge giveaway? Hard-working taxpayers, the same people cringing at their grocery bills every week and hoping for a raise that isn't coming. It seems the only time Mark Kelly is actually frugal is when it comes to protecting our nation's border. 
become a record-breaking year of border crossings. More than 2 million migrants breaking the record previously set last year. Most of those encounters, single men. Tonight, along a roadway in southern Mexico, a seemingly endless stream of people making their way on foot towards the United States. Mark Kelly talks about how he has seen the situation at the border firsthand. I first went down to the border 15 years ago. I've been on the back of a horse riding our border. I've spent a lot of time there. And he's met with the agents on the front lines of this crisis. Douglas, and I was recently down in Yuma uh, meeting with the Border Patrol and, and talking to the leadership there about what they need. Uh, and they need, they need help. Yes, they do need help. Nationwide, there are only a little over 19,500 Border Patrol agents. In August alone, these agents encountered nearly 158,000 individuals that needed to be processed or vetted. Encounters for the year already stand at 2.5 million. At least 2.1 million of those are on our southwest border. So this is a crisis and we still have a crisis this this crisis this is a crisis but when faced with the choice of ensuring that our border patrol got the manpower they so desperately need or hiring more irs agents kelly voted for the irs yes rather than putting more border patrol agents on the border to deal with this crisis mark kelly voted to fund the irs to hire tens of thousands of new agents. This is a federal government problem and Washington has uh, really failed on this issue for decades now. Washington has failed because politicians like Mark Kelly make one bad decision after another. Let's talk about Mark Kelly voting yes on $80 billion for 87,000 new IRS agents. Yes, 87,000. Thousand. The Pentagon only has 27,000 employees. The FBI employs 35,000 people. 41,700 active duty members of the United States Coast Guard Patrol, more than 95,000 miles of our coastline. And the staff of the entire Department of State, well, that number's 77,000. 243. But the IRS needs 87,000 agents? Mark Kelly thought so, and he thought it was more important to hire those 87,000 IRS agents than to hire more Border Patrol agents. That's just not what the people who sent him to Washington want. It's exactly what Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, and Joe Biden want. So that's how Mark Kelly votes. And what will all these new IRS agents do? They will audit small business owners, entrepreneurs, and other innocent, hardworking taxpayers. Less border protection, more IRS audits. Is that what Arizona needs? No, but that's what Mark Kelly is giving us. Again, talking a good game about the crisis on our border, but doing the bidding of Biden, Pelosi, and Schumer instead of fixing the problem. Because of the lax enforcement, the drug cartels are having a heyday pouring illegal drugs into our streets in Arizona. And it's getting scary. We all know that the U.S. has been dealing with an opioid epidemic for many years. Well, it's getting worse. And Arizona is now the epicenter of this crisis. Fentanyl, which is 50 times more powerful than heroin, is flooding into our state and creating a path of death and destruction. Since 2015, overdose deaths have more than doubled. And last year, use of fentanyl made up nearly 70% of the overdose deaths. And guess what? When Mark Kelly had a chance to actually do something to stem this flood of illegal drugs, he voted no. Mark Kelly voted against providing $300 million to help U.S. Customs and Border Protection stop the flow of these deadly illegal drugs from coming across our border. Mark Kelly isn't the reasonable voice 
Arizona deserves in Washington. We have a better choice. Blake Masters will bring common sense solutions to Washington that help all Arizonans. Blake Masters was born here in Arizona. He understands the rich history of our great state. He is raising his family here because he appreciates the values that we share, the things that make us Arizonans. Blake grew up in Tucson and then went to Stanford and Stanford Law School. After graduating, Blake co-founded a successful software startup. 10 years ago, he married his high school sweetheart, Catherine, and now they're raising their three rambunctious boys, Miles, Graham, and Rex, the next generation of Arizonans. Blake also co-authored the number one New York Times bestseller, Zero to One. It has sold more than four million copies. It's the world's most popular book on startups and venture capital. The next year, Blake took on a new challenge as president of the Teal Foundation, a nonprofit that promotes science and innovation. And then Blake became chief operating officer at Teal Capital, an investment firm. He helped them grow their assets by billions of dollars. And now Blake wants to serve. He is putting his successful business career on hold to represent Arizona in the U.S. Senate. I'm running because we're losing the country. You know, we're losing the Arizona that I love, the Arizona that I grew up in. You know, I grew up uh, right down the road in Tucson and uh, went out to, to California for a number of years to go to college. I came back with my wife to raise our three beautiful boys. They're eight, six, and two years old, and the state had changed. I had quite enough of that, so I said, let me pause my business career, throw my hat in the ring, uh, and win back this Senate seat so we can get back some sensible governance to this state. And you got a guy you're running up against, Mark Kelly, out there in Arizona. He was asked if Joe Biden's doing a good job. Here's his answer, listen. Has he done a good job, do you think? Hey, uh, you know, I, you know, I, I, first of all, it's not my job to give him a report card. I would say, you know, mixed reviews. So if he came out here, held an event, uh, you'd, you'd attend that event. Oh, you'd I would, like that, you'd I would like certainly, that. I would certainly consider it. Consider is not. I would, <laughs> well, I would look at it. He would look at it, Blake. <laughs> it's like awkward to watch, Jesse. It's so uncomfortable watching a conventional politician just try to weasel his way out. And look, I understand why Mark Kelly doesn't want to give Joe Biden a report report card. It's because Joe Biden's report card is Mark Kelly's report card. Biden's record of failure is Mark Kelly's record of failure. These guys are joined at the hip and Mark Kelly voted for all the trillions in spending that caused this inflation. When I speak to Hispanic voters in Arizona, they're just shocked and dismayed at what's happening. You know, I mean, they send their kids to school expecting them to learn reading, writing and right. arithmetic. But then these kids are taught to call themselves Latinx. And oh, here are your gender pronouns. And they tell the little boys, hey, maybe you're not really a nino. Have you thought about becoming a nina instead? I mean, it's so absurd. And then these kids, of course, go home and tell mom and dad, and it doesn't go over so well. Because newsflash, Hispanic families don't want this woke garbage. And don't even get me started on illegal immigration and crime, right? Like you said, Hispanic voters, like all commonsensical people, want law nice. and order. They don't want 5 million illegal aliens flooding here. But that's what Joe Biden and Senator Mark Kelly have delivered. This guy got elected by promising Arizonans he was going to be an independent, right? He promised he was going to be a moderate. Well, two years later, look at his voting record. And I'm sorry to say, oops, he lied to us. This guy's in the Senate just voting in lockstep to approve Joe Biden's failed agenda. You know, I mean, Rachel, I think he should be ashamed. Mark Kelly should of his left wing voting record. And actually, maybe he is ashamed. Maybe that's why he hides from voters. Nobody ever sees this guy in Arizona. But what we do see in Arizona, of course, is the price at the gas pump, the skyrocketing prices at the grocery store. We see the crime rising. We see the, uh, the consequences of Joe Biden's open border. People know here that Joe Biden has failed and they're learning the truth, which is Mark Kelly's done more than anyone to drag this country in the wrong direction. That's why we're gonna make a change and vote him out. You know, Arizonans don't want two more years of Joe Biden's policies and two more years of Senator Mark Kelly who's just willing to sign off on anything that Joe Biden wants. Like Larry, I knew this administration was gonna be bad. I knew Mark Kelly was gonna be bad, but I'll be honest and say, I'm shocked at how quickly they've delivered all this chaos and destruction. They've given us a border crisis, an inflation crisis, a supply chain crisis, right? In my hometown of Tucson, homicides up 87% since 2019. Mm -hmm. Crime is skyrocketing. Mm -hmm. It's like, who looks around at this and says, yeah, more of this please, right? So Arizona wants a Senator who's gonna be a check 
on Joe Biden and the Democrats. And that's me. That's uh, sure as heck not Mark Kelly. So how does Blake Masters compare to Senator Mark Kelly on the issues that are important to Arizona? Mark Kelly supports abortion on demand, even through the third trimester. And he supports taxpayer-funded abortions. Mark Kelly's position on abortion is extreme. He supports nationwide abortion on demand up until the moment of birth with zero limits, and he supports taxpayers paying for it. Blake Masters will make sure taxpayer funds are never used to perform abortions. Masters will support pregnancy centers and programs to help pregnant women. Mark Kelly's radical anti-life position is just too extreme. Vote Blake Masters for U.S. Senate. Saving Arizona PAC is responsible for the content of this message. He's a hologram kid. It's, it, it's, it, you know, he's got all this money and he runs these fake ads where he pretends to be a moderate Republican. Basically, when it matters most, Chuck Schumer owns Mark Kelly's vote. Blake Masters is personally pro-life. He believes, however, this is a state issue and he would never support taxpayer-funded abortions. <laughs> Even when it comes to late-term abortions, though, Senator? Hey, our government needs to respect a woman's freedom, and there are restrictions on abortion late in pregnancy. But Mark Kelly sponsored a radical abortion bill to wipe out these restrictions and other reasonable state protections, like Arizona's parental consent law. He even voted against requiring health care practitioners to care for babies who survive an abortion. Mark Kelly is too extreme for Arizona. Saving Arizona PAC is responsible for the content of this message. When it comes to energy, Blake doesn't believe Americans should rely on volatile regions and dangerous dictators to keep our lives and economy running. Our nation has abundant natural resources, and Blake Masters wants to harness that advantage to make America energy independent. Mark Kelly says he wants more domestic oil production, but his actions speak louder. Mark Kelly says, My style is to work across the aisle. But what's he really like? With historically high gas prices and global uncertainty, Kelly wrote to President Biden urging him to expand oil production. But when a Republican introduced an amendment to do exactly what Kelly asked, he voted against it, putting congressional Democrats ahead of Arizona families. It's really hard, you know, for folks that are trying to raise a family. Mark Kelly, sympathetic words, partisan votes. Saving Arizona PAC is responsible for the content of this message. Blake Masters will be different. He will put Arizonans and our nation's economy first. He won't play the petty partisan game. Blake will stand up to Biden and fight back against his failed agenda. Unlike Mark Kelly, Blake Masters understands that Washington can't spend its way out of this mess. He knows that spending your tax dollars to make sure prison inmates receive stimulus checks is flat out crazy. Mark Kelly is out of touch with Arizona. He went to Washington and immediately supported the failing policies of Joe Biden. Arizonans are struggling with rising prices and trying to get ahead. And what was Mark Kelly's answer? He voted to give prison inmates stimulus checks, your tax dollars to give convicted criminals extra money. What was he thinking? We can't afford a senator who is a rubber stamp for Biden's failed agenda. We can't afford Mark Kelly. Saving Arizona PAC is responsible for the content of this message. Blake Masters will push back against the woke agenda that is overtaking public schools in our state and nation. Our students lost precious years to COVID. Blake believes schools should focus on academics, not indoctrinating students in divisive philosophies. And he wants more pathways to successful careers. A four-year college degree shouldn't be the only ticket to prosperity. And he certainly doesn't think that hardworking people who chose a different non-college route should foot the $400 billion bill for college loans that can't be paid back. Shouldn't colleges be liable? Blake is just a common sense guy. He's not going to choose 
87,000 new IRS agents over more Border Patrol agents. He wants to have a serious, productive debate about immigration and finally fix the broken system that's appended lives and created so much tragedy. Blake Masters will vote to crack down on the drug cartels flooding our streets with illegal drugs and creating the overdose crisis in our communities. Now, you're probably wondering, what can you do to stop Mark Kelly and make sure Blake Masters is elected to the U.S. Senate? Obviously, vote for Blake Masters. Talk to your family and your close friends. Make sure they know just how important this election is to the future of Arizona and the future of America. If each one of you watching get three, that's three other people to vote for Blake Masters, he will win. This will be a close election and every vote counts. By multiplying your vote with the vote of three others, you can literally change the outcome by a couple percentage points. In the last election, Mark Kelly only won by 55,000 votes, less than 3%. And with it being a non-presidential year, turnout will be lower, meaning each vote you can secure for Blake Masters gets him much closer to winning. So here is specifically what you can do. Vote. Get three others to vote for Blake Masters. Request a yard sign so you can help send a message about your support for Blake Masters. Text 480-900-2445. That's 480-900-2445 to request that yard sign and to get updates on what else you can do to get Blake Masters elected to the U.S. Senate. Put aside all the negative ads. Arizona has a good, clear choice for Senate. Mark Kelly voted to allow illegal immigrants to receive taxpayer-funded benefits. Blake Masters believes illegal immigrants should not receive taxpayer funds. Mark Kelly voted against the Keystone Pipeline, which caused higher gas prices. Blake Masters supports the pipeline and American energy independence. It's a clear choice for Arizona. Saving Arizona PAC is responsible for the content of this message. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this program. I know your time is valuable. The stakes are high. You have proven that you care about the future of our country by taking the time to watch our program. Now is the time to change the course of history, to pull our nation back from the brink, play your part, by telling your friends and family to vote for Blake Masters for U.S. Senate. Thank you and God bless. Saving Arizona PAC is responsible for the content of this message. Mark Kelly says he understands us. If you didn't grow up in a house where money was tight and the bills piled up, it's hard to understand what Arizona families are going through right now. And that's when you come to this realization that your family is living paycheck to paycheck. And he promised us that he was different. And that's why I will give up on getting our economy back on track and lowering everyday costs. Because too many politicians in Washington have no idea what it's like to wait for that next paycheck. But Mark Kelly has gone Washington. He has supported the Biden-Pelosi policies that increased gas prices, the cost of food, and made it harder to pay your bills. Mark Kelly promised us he was different, but he's not. Saving Arizona PAC is responsible for the content of this message. Put aside all the negative ads. Arizona has a good, clear choice for Senate. 
Mark Kelly voted to allow illegal immigrants to receive taxpayer-funded benefits. Blake Masters believes illegal immigrants should not receive taxpayer funds. Mark Kelly voted against the Keystone Pipeline, which caused higher gas prices. Blake Masters supports the pipeline and American energy independence. It's a clear choice for Arizona. Saving Arizona PAC is responsible for the content of this message.